This is the Global Economic Commodities Scrap Metal and Recycling Report by our Bunny Roll Up Trailers and Lugger Trucks, December 13th, 2021. U.S. weekly crude steel production fell to 1.807 million tons. This was on slow U.S. manufacturing growth and increased imports. WTI crude oil price rose to 71.67 barrel, up about 9% for the week. U.S. drillers and oil companies recommitted to keeping prices high. Importantly, this was due to oil price dips in 2016, 2019, and 2020 were too damaging to shareholder returns. The U.S. weekly oil production rose to 11.7 million barrels per day, a huge 1.4 million barrels less than just 19 months ago. This was as drillers balanced cash flow to shareholders versus drilling costs. The U.S. weekly oil recount rose to 471, still down about 40% from 19 months ago. This was on the same balancing cash flow issue. Scrap steel number one HMS price was steady at 465 a gross ton. There was downward price pressure for January. Hot rock coil steel price fell to 81.58 per hundred weight, which is 16.32 a ton, the lowest in six months. This was on the slow U.S. economic growth, steel imports, and good supply. Copper price rose to $4.29 a pound as China's imports grew to an eight-month high. Aluminum price fell to $1.18 a pound, which is $26.07 a metric ton, on actual lower Chinese demand. China November vehicle sales rose to $2.52 million, but off 9.1% from last year. Electric, hybrid, and hydrogen vehicles surged 121% from last year. The U.S. October trade deficit narrowed sharply to $67.1 billion, the best in six months. This was as exports jumped 8.1% with oil and aircraft rising the most. Yes, we actually export and import oil. Importantly, imports hit a new record with passenger cars, diamonds, cell phones up the most. U.S. December U of M consumer, consumer Sentiment Index rose to 70.4, beating forecasts. Both current conditions and future expectations improved. U.S. November inflation rose to 6.8%, a 39-year high driven by energy prices. Labor increases remain, but many commodities are falling. U.S. Weekly Initial Unemployment Claims fell to 184,000, the lowest since 1969, 52 years ago. Hiring remains tough, but could get better after the holidays. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 1,072 points to 35,971, near the record. Inflation concerns the public but corporate profit margins are expanding, not contracting. 2022 could be an incredibly good year for the economy after a solid 2021. Roll-off truck replacements. Now is the time to save $150,000 and buy a truly short Ben Lee 25-foot, 11-inch roll-off trailer. Carry more weight and get into a tighter spot than a roll-off truck. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope you'll have a safe and profitable week.